I have 20 years business experience and, and then some, and an MBA from University of California, Irvine. Yeah, I don't do anything with a paper and a pen. Neither do I. <laughs> Before opening an art gallery, I was the chief operating officer for a clinical research firm in LA. Before that, I was CEO for a eating disorder firm in San Diego. So the positions that I had up until deciding to open an art gallery were far different from this and um, frankly, far less rewarding. I actually chose Olympia for personal reasons. I uh, re um, reunited with my childhood sweetheart and I was living in LA and he was living in Denver and neither of those seemed like a reasonable place for us to go. So we decided to come back home to Washington. You know what, my background is just, it's the personal love of art. I, my own collection happened to include a lot of reclaimed uh, and repurposed materials. And I've always just been drawn to a lot of texture and metal. Obviously the criteria is for the artist to use recycled reclaimed materials. So repurposing of materials that already exist in the world appeals to me from an environmental standpoint, of course, but also just the challenge that the artist has accepted to use what's already there um, is intriguing. It's, it almost seems like it would be cheating to allow them to just use whatever it is, you know, buy things from the store, buy canvas. Um, it's just a lot more interesting to see what people come up with repurposing materials. Does it have texture? Is it saying something? And I've got 104 artists that I'm working with. Um, there's the work of, of just over 90 of them in here right now. Some people are still putting work together or in some cases I've sold all their work and, and um, I'm waiting for more. So this is a piece by Brian Mock. It's made out of rifle barrels. Its title is More Bang for Your Butt. And uh, the title is fun. It, originally came in with the title Rifle Barrel Trio and I put a, a photo of it on Facebook and one of the customers who read Facebook sent out a little note saying he thought it should be called More Bang For Your Butt and then more um, Facebook fans, customers, responded and yeah, 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 you should have it be that, that you should change the name and I contacted the artist and he was cool with it so we changed the name. Very collaborative gallery we have. So. This is Jennifer Kuhn's uh, piece named Jizo, and he is the Japanese god of women, children, travelers, and firefighters. And Jennifer is an artist here in Olympia. She also uh, did the very beautiful mosaic work that is above the bar in the Swing Cafe, and has done some other mosaics around town. Uh, Olympia Pediatrics. And that is the story of Jesus. This is George Kurzman. He is an Olympia artist. And this piece is painted on sailcloth and framed in boat decking material. And it's in commemoration of the wooden boats that are currently being dismantled at the pier, sadly. This is Relic by Bill Fleming. And this is made from the copper water tank from a boat. Uh, a friend gave it to Bill at a time when he was on his bicycle, I think and or for whatever reason he couldn't take it at the time, drug it into the woods and left it for two months before he could come back and get it, which helped with the lovely patina color.